Hello everyone. All right, so this is a slightly more advanced modding tutorial, I guess, for The Witcher 3. So in this case, I will be showing you a incompatibility issue between this great mod, slots, 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 and item levels normalized. All right, so I am just going to install them individually and run them first to show that you know they work. And then I'll show what happens when you try to run them together, install them together, and a simple guide on how to get around an issue like this. All right, so quite simple with mod install for the Witcher 3. You create a new folder called mods, and then you drag the appropriate files, the folders into either mods or DLC. All right, so let's start off with extra ability slots. So slots, slots, slots. So that's just, so I created a little readme files. I always do that for myself. All right. So as you can see, with just that one mod, it's loading fine. All right, as you can see, we've loaded in. Yep, it's quite laggy right now. It's all right. Just for demonstration purposes. All right, as you can see, the slot, slot, slots mod is working. We have extra ability slots. We've got multiple tabs now. Awesome. All right, now let's go back, uninstall that one, and load item levels normalized only. So we'll go back here, we'll delete this, All right. and let's go back to mods, so item scales, it's player level. All right, so with some of these mods, um, you have to add something to the DLC folder as well, but that's very straightforward. So again, the one file goes to the mods folder, and then uh, another file goes to the DLC folder. Very straightforward. Okay, again, game's loaded up with just, just that one mod. All right, we've loaded in, let's have a look. All right, as you can see, um, this is a classic game. And look, everything's scaled up to my level. Um, yeah, so I used a console command to demonstrate this to get to level 100. Um, yeah, this is a classic game. You normally wouldn't be able to do that straightforward way. You could, though. Killing enemies do give a small amount of XP. But, well, no one's going to grind that long. You'd be bored out of your mind. But yeah, okay, so this, again, this mod is working. Um, let's go to the crafting page as well. Um, all the blueprints should go as well. Yep, everything is uh, level 100, so that's great. Alright, so they all work individually. Um, yeah, so item levels normalized and slots, slots, slots. Two great mods. Very great mods. Now, the real problem is uh, when you load, try to load both mods together. All right, so sometimes this will happen, you know, there's two mods you want to use or more than that, and they're incompatible. All right, so I'll just show you the error message that comes up when you try to load them. So I will go back to uh, extra ability slots. All right, I'll copy this back in. All right, so again, we have. We have the item levels normalized already here. All right, so now we're gonna put this back in. All right, so when we try to load it now, there should be an error. All right, this won't want this won't want to run. Yep, there we go. All right, so even set of mods are not compatible with each other. Um, the game won't load. And you get an error message. So in this case, with my two particular mods that I'm showing, so this is what happens. So you have to exit application. Um, so yeah, get the idea. 
All right, so regarding how to deal with the compatibility issues, uh, the reason is because there are overlapping scripts between the two mods. So each mod will contain some modified version of an existing script from the base game. So in this case, there are three overlapping scripts. I made a file path overview um, about the two mods to see what's overlapping, like, uh, what's unique to each one. So if your mods edit the same file, the same scripts, you're going to get a compatibility issue. Um, so in this case, I'm ju I'll just use one script as an example. So on the right here, I can bring up the original one in the actual game folder in Steam. So yeah, it's inventory component WS. And if I go into each of the mods individually, as you can see here, so both slots of slots and item levels normalized, um, edits uh, inventory component the WS. So there's overlaps. And so what you want to do is uh, get rid of the overlaps and merge all the changes into one script. And so you can do that with a tool like this one, like uh, differencechecker.com, so just websites for this. So you can just upload the original script from the actual original game folder, and then you can upload each of the script from each of the mods to identify the difference. And the difference will be highlighted. Yeah, so this is for slots of slots. And then uh, this is item levels normalized, so just two sections here for this one, I do believe. Yeah, yeah, here's another one. So what you can do is just make a copy of one of these scripts from one of these mods, and then put the unique code from the other mods into that same script. So you can just merge everything. Um, so there's no duplicates of the same scripts. So yeah, um, tools like these can allow you to find the unique additions and merge everything. So here's, here's the merge files. Uh, here's the merge script that I did. So there's code from both mods. And so you can do that. And then all the other non-overlapping, non-identical scripts, you can just all put into one unified folder. So that's what I did here. So you can see I've created like a new folder for the manual merge, and that has just everything in there. So yeah, you can manually merge everything together and put everything together. All right, let's show off the merged scripts, the merged mods, the manual merge. So again, copy the appropriate files to the appropriate folders. Very simple. All right, and we're in the game. As you can see, it's successfully loaded. All right, so as you can see, we've successfully loaded in. Let's look at our character panel. Yep, we've got uh, we've got multiple tabs for abilities. Excellent. Let's look at our inventory. And yep, look, all the items are scaled to our level. Excellent. And then we can also go to crafting. And yeah, all the, all the crafting blueprints are also at our level. So yeah, this is a successful merge of item levels normalized and slots, slots, slots. All right, so I've shown that I've put everything, all the files from both mods into one unified set of mod folders. But let's say you can't do that. You know, let's say, let's say there are 
compiled scripts or special files that share the same name for some whatever reason. Um, so how do we how do we deal with a compatibility like that? Well, I just tested it and it's actually not a big deal. So I've got both uh, the original files loaded in, so the original folders loaded in. Um, I've also got the DLC folder from item levels normalized. Now we've identified that there were overlapping scripts, right? So what I did was I went into uh, item level normalized and I basically deleted the uh, overlapping scripts from this one. And then I went into the slots slot, slots mod file folder, sorry. And then I've basically replaced the original one with my merged one. So this, this has the code also from item levels normalized. So you don't have to merge everything into one. You can just replace the overlapping script. So you can delete the overlapping scripts from uh, all the other mods and just leave uh, the merge script into one mod folder. And it will, it will still run. It will still run. So as you can see, um, I'll just go back to item levels normalized. So if I go into this directory here, you can see that I've deleted something. Yes, you can see I've deleted the components, uh, the inventory components WS and the player.ws. So that's all gone. So that's not, that's not in here anymore. And yeah, for the ones in the slots slot, slot mod, folder I've basically replaced this one I've replaced I've replaced the original with the manually merged one so I'll just bring it up just to show to be clear so yeah I've so these two are the same so I've replaced the original with the merge so as you can see if I go back to mods I actually have the original folders uh, like you know all the files separated it's just I've deleted one copy, one set of the clashing mods and replaced the remaining with like the actual merge scripts. And as you can see again, back in DLC, it all has this as well. It has the original item levels normalized folder. So yeah, um, you can do this as well, just in case you've got some weird naming clash going on that you can't dump everything into one set of unified folders and it would still run. All right, we've loaded into the game. And if we again go to character, yep, we have extra ability slots. If we look at inventory, and yep, items are scaled to our level. If we go to crafting, yep, all the crafting blueprints are scaled. So yeah, there's a less complicated way to do it, I guess.